Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and I'm very excited, I'm stoked that these finally made it out. I was really looking forward to these when they were shown off, I'll talk about that in just a second, but then I got worried because DC Direct went out. So in conjunction with McFarland Toys now, DC Direct has essentially come back in a way and this is now Deceased Wave 3. Kind of delving into the Unkillables offshoots of the Deceased universe, right? You got to think of it that way, but we'll talk about all that in just a second. Now, going back to Toy Fair 2020, it was in the DC Direct booth, and they had Deceased Wave 1, they had Wave 2, and Wave 3. Wave 2 and Wave 3 were still in production for the most part. You kind of have some color samples here. But uh, yeah, they were still working on them. You see Superman, you got Supergirl. I will be looking at Wave 2. We're kind of out of order, just keep that in mind. But they looked great. I'm a huge fan of the zombie genre, and when you put it towards superheroes like Marvel, right? That's awesome. Deceased is a great different turn of events utilizing zombies, quote-unquote. And we'll, again, talk about that in just a second. But, man, oh, man, was it a lot of fun to see these. But then, of course, the world actually went into an apocalyptic scenario, and these were completely canceled, wiped out. But, lo and behold, they brought them back. Zombies, right? Bringing zombies. It all fits, right? You just have to look at it that way. So, we have Unkillable's Deathstroke, right? He looks pretty cool. The boxes are still the same as Wave 1 and all the essentials. The back of the box, you got some nice photos of the figures and a little bit of a bio that kind of explains basically the action figure, not so much what Deceased is. But uh, yeah, we also got Red Hood, Nightwing, and Batgirl. And I just want to point out and say thank you to Paul Harding who sculpted all of these figures. So that is pretty dang cool. So Red Hood, same exact packaging. He actually comes with a pair of guns. Ah, they sneak those in. Nightwing. He looks pretty dang menacing. That's pretty cool. And then you have the Burnside Batgirl in her purple and black with the yellow costume. So definitely interested in checking all these out. Man, I can't tell you again, you know, being a fan of Deceased and everything else, I'm so stoked that these were able to come back. Maybe they'll do more. Who knows, right? In a pure zombie. Just keep bringing them back. Bringing them back to life. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new DC Direct and McFarlane Toys mashup. This is Deceased Unkillables Wave 3. And while I got you guys here, if you haven't already checked out Entertainment Earth, why I highly recommend you do that this is going to be one of those hey go and uh, check out the affiliate right this is one of those uh, little spiels i got going on but uh, no in all seriousness entertainment earth they are great to deal with they got uh, fast shipping right they'll wrap up your packages oh so nicely got a little bubble wrap and stuff and if there's ever a problem you just contact them again and they will uh, make it right right they'll ship you out a nice and uh, minty one but if you're interested in these dc direct dc figures why well, don't you just go up to the search bar right there and type that out as best you can i kind of had to rewrite that a few times and it pulls them right up so yeah they're gonna run you about 30 dollars what i like about entertainment earth every once in a while they'll run a quick outlet deal so it's always fun to kind of check and see what they got going on but uh if let's say this deceased is not your thing you can always go over and check out mcfarland toys right they have the new booster gold and blue beetle two pack which i am very excited about so i'm going to be grabbing that there's a lot of stuff on entertainment earth again they usually ship the fastest out of everybody i'll tell you that honestly they'll ship your stuff all nice and bundled up like a little baby right so everybody who's a mint in package collector you'll definitely like that so please do check out entertainment earth for all your uh, new toys hey maybe some toys you might have missed check out their sales yada yada but enough about all that thanks for letting me do my spiel let's talk some deceased and of course here they all are out of the packaging. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you this right off the bat. That way you don't have to watch this entire video if you're not interested. These are a very specific taste. If you like zombies, if you like superheroes, I think you're going to be in good hands. The figures themselves, the way they kind of are, the way they kind of painted and such, the way they kind of move, especially in dealing with what the source material is, they missed a lot of marks here. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. However... I love them because I love 
zombies. So let's go ahead and start it off with figure numero uno. We have Slade Wilson, the unkillable Deathstroke. And again, in dealing with the comic book, right, you get to see he doesn't exactly look like this in the comic. I see what they're doing, right? You kind of have to take a step back and go, okay, you just wanted to reuse the figures, put a little different head skull, put some blood on there, and, and then you got like a zombie version. Doesn't fit with the story at all. The paint, the pattern of his costume looks good, except for this one little area over his shoulder. It kind of like disappears. You kind of have to do that to make it fit in there. You know what I mean? That's kind of weird. He's got a good wash to him. He's got blood. The blood, I'll say this, does and doesn't make sense a lot of the times. I like the splatter. I think they execute that well. But then it kind of looks like, in, in all honesty, it kind of looks like they're customized figures, right? Like, I could do this. I couldn't sculpt the stuff, but I could put the little blood on there. You know what I mean? He's got a weapon holder, but nothing to hold a weapon because there's no weapons that come with this guy. At least give him a, a sword or, or gun, something like that. The blood looks wet. I'll totally give him that. He's got some cool treads on the bottom of his feet. Here's one of the big gripes I have. I goes like, oh, cool. There's a knife here. No, it's just the handle of the knife, which it came right out. I think it's supposed to be glued in there. So I don't know, but there's no knife to it so that's kind of like uh, but i'm telling you honestly if you're into zombies and you just want to put them on a shelf in your horror then it totally works but if you're looking for like oh man this is a really not to say it's not a well articulated action figure it's got articulation but a lot of it is now kind of behind the times we'll just say a lot of pins and stuff especially in the abdomen but double jointed elbows double jointed knees it's just again going to be one of those where if you're really into zombies, then by all means, these are cool. But these are largely a pass, to be quite honest with you. Now, the Burnside Batgirl, I'm going to tell you honestly on her, I like her articulation a whole heck of a lot better than I like the males. And the reason being is that she can do a lot more of those zombie poses. She has one of the best head sculpts of the entire set, right? Look at that gash down the side of her face. If you're not aware, Deceased is not zombies. It's the anti-life equation, and, and it like takes people over. It's like a hive mind situation. It can be cured, but then you usually die before you get cured. I like the blood on her gloves. This one is less of, I think, like I could make it kind of thing, whereas this one looks like a full-fledged figure. So this is the one I'll definitely recommend to you out of the four because... Like I said, you can get her into those zombie poses. It looks like she's all broken. If only you could kind of move her head more to the side, kind of cock it to the side. She's got a good wash on her boots. They're dirtied up. She does have, like I said, blood on the gloves, but stuff on the, the cape and all of these figures definitely needed more on the backside, right? I think that would have been kind of cool, like especially on Batgirl, to have like a, a handprint, right? A bloody handprint right on her, on her cape. That would have been cool. Uh, you know, in the comics... Batgirl gets taken out pretty early. So again, all of these characters, they don't make sense. These are like the covers brought to life, right? Or just being like, here's zombie versions of the characters. That's basically what it is. And then of course, next up is Dick Grayson, Nightwing. And this is actually a pretty solid Nightwing figure. Much better than the McFarlane offerings thus far. I don't really like their Nightwings. This one I do like, but of course... He, he's, he's definitely zombified. This is not like, oh, a battle damage Nightwing. This is a guy with severe head trauma and bleeding. And, of course, all his face is, uh, is ripped apart and whatnot. So on the sides, right, you have the big gash. You can't get a lot of that head rotation that kind of gives you like that zombie. It's got this weird belt that wasn't painted that is on his arm. I don't know what that's really for. I wish they would have painted that or just left that off. I don't know. Then you got the blood on the hands, the blood on the legs. Doesn't really look that great at all. Unfortunately, it's just kind of like, again, you took a paintbrush and like, do, 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 do. You know what I mean? He's got to wash it between the blue. It kind of dirties him up. I do like that. It kind of muddles it, makes him look a little bit more decrepit. I like that. But on the backside, as you can see, there's there's nothing going on, unfortunately. His hands, much like all the other characters, are in that outstretched zombie, sort of rigor mortis, kind of claw hand. Can't hold anything, but he's okay. Let's just say he's okay. Which brings us to Red Hood, Jason Todd. Now, 
in Unkillables and so on and so forth. I think actually he got taken out. You can correct me. Anyways, they're going to be continuing the story. We'll know more later. It's been a while since I read Deceased and Unkillables and everything else. But this, a lot of people have been saying, oh man, maybe I can use this for like a battle damage, Jason Todd. Yes and no. I mean, he's got blood. You can see the mask is all broken up. You have that. He's got, again, the rigor mortis hands. Oddly enough... And these are made before, right? These have been kind of sitting for a little bit. We're just going to say before they got released. So he actually does have his handguns, which, hey, that's totally cool. He's got two of them. They both fit in the holster. But the problem being is that he doesn't come with extra hands. And he's got the outstretched hand. You can really, if you put the finger through the trigger area, then yes, that'll work. He can hold it. But, I mean, that's really just kind of making it work at this point. <laughs> You know what I mean? The fact that he's got guns. It's nice to have a red hood with guns. That's cool. But then the blood completely disappears once you get past the chest. The other thing about these figures is that it kind of has those McFarlane ball joints in the feet, which will make these kind of a pain to stand. Plus, they don't have peg holes. So, yes, they are difficult to stand. Something they'll domino everybody. I do like the wash on the jacket. Up top, right? Before you get to the legs... It's a pretty solid figure. I do like it. The legs, I really wish they could have sculpted it more and just kind of given it more tattered and tears. These are all largely just repaints with a different head and some blood for good measure. Now, I will tell you this. If you collect McFarlane's DC Multiverse, these actually can fit in. The body types, the styling may be a little bit different, but I do think that these fit in for the most part. You have the new Black Lantern Superman, Kal-El, with this Batgirl. Height-wise, that's fine. Height-wise with John Constantine. I think that that fits pretty dang nicely. Nightwing with John Constantine with the DC Multiverse. Now, keep in mind, they're not going to always fit with the Scalature because McFarlane's is kind of all over the place sometimes. But if you have the three Jokers Batman, that would work as well. In terms of scaling with everyone else, I would say the only one I think that's out of scale would be Deathstroke, right? Batman's a little bit taller, Nightwing, Red Hood, Batgirl, they're all a little bit shorter. You have the other heroes, you have the Joker. So I think that in terms of the scalature for this entire line so far, minus Wave 2 because they don't have that yet, these all work. And, and really, this is the fun of it for me, especially with Halloween coming up right around the corner, right? Quicker and quicker every year, right? But these are fun to me. I don't like to think about it too much. I do like to be able to have them pose in that zombie, staggering, lurching kind of pose, which some of them work, some of them don't. Some of them wish there was a little bit more to them, a lot more blood, something like that just to kind of give it to you. But they're fun, and that's really all I got for you at this point. It's a repaint through and through. They got new head sculpts. They very loosely are based off of deceased in conjunction with the storyline because mostly all these characters are dead like they died in like the first issue or at least the first series so if you can just have fun treat these as zombified versions of your heroes i think you'll fare a little bit better if you're looking for a super articulated oh man it's got the bells and whistles everything else no this is definitely not going to be the figures for you so that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new dc direct x mcfarlane toys deceased wave three featuring the unkillables and of course thanks to entertainment earth be sure to check them out i'll put links again down in the description if you like what you sees or if you're interested in anything new that's coming up so you've heard my thoughts so now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything deceased and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember halloween is right around the corner i'm, I'm stoked about some black series kind of zombie halloween figures those are cool i'm a big fan of holiday figures in case you were wondering but uh, look for wave two of deceased coming up real real shortly and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios